been teaching you all these years to buy hardware based on your needs. There is no reason to go overboard with the things you use, reduce what you need to a minimum and that's the product you are looking for. That way, you are buying what's best for you, not what the company wants to sell you. On the other hand, for us more demanding users, this rule usually doesn't apply. We have to buy a bunch of things in a package that we will never use to get the functionality we need. Next to me is the Asus ProArt X8070E Creator Wi-Fi motherboard and I won't bore you too much with it and go into details. We'll cover the essentials that are key with this motherboard. When new refresh products come out, I always like to compare the two models to see if it's worth buying new or upgrading. The price of this board is just under 500 USD, while the previous model with the X670E chipset is available for $50 less. Is the new board worth the 50 bucks? Absolutely yes. But if you were to ask me whether to upgrade from the X670E to the X8070E chipset, you wouldn't have many reasons. First, the X670E board is a dual chipset board with new and better features, so we have Wi-Fi 7 with Q mechanism compared to the Wi-Fi 6E without it, then the new Bluetooth 5.4 standard, the third thing, PCI slot works on 4 instead of 2 4.0 lines, also we have an improvement in the VRM section where there are now 80 amperes MOSFETs instead of 70. We will discuss the VRM section in more detail later. The main difference is the faster and newer USB 4 controller signed by S-Media, which has twice the capacity of the Intel controller found on X670E Creator board. The PCI lines have been reorganized a bit, we will also do that in a separate section. However, in addition to improved things, we also have two step back, which is that we no longer have 12V RGB while the front USB-C is now 27W instead of 60 because we don't have 6 PCI power connector which is removed on the new X670E creator board. I won't go into design, you can see that by yourself, but what's underneath is not really visible to normal people or people who do not have access to this board. The VRM section has been improved a little bit, we have the same configuration with 16 plus 2 plus 2 elements which is a total of 8 stages for CPU, one for iGPU and one for memory. And on each phase there are two power stages rated at 80 amps. Why is this not an upgrade from the 70 amps? It's only on paper, but both components have the same curve showing that they're most efficient at around 15 to 20 amps. So do not worry, this is not an improvement in practice, only in marketing. The VRM section is cool in any operation and more than enough to push the overclock of the 9950X CPU. As for the RAM modules, for some reason we do not have the improved Nitro Pad, so the speeds with two slots are a bit lower than other high-end boards, at least when it comes to the ASUS portfolio. PCI E-lines are always a complicated thing and can mess up your configuration. The ProArt X670 Creator Wi-Fi board has three PCI slots, the first two are Gen 5 and the third is Gen 4 and supports a maximum of four lines. The configuration is as follows, if you want the full 60 lines on the first GPU slot, the other two must be empty, or you can configure in 8 plus 8 or 8 plus 4 plus 4 mode depending on the occupancy. As for M2 devices, the slot directly below the socket is Gen 5 and has four lines directly from the CPU. The second Gen 5 M2 device is right below the chipset, but if we activate it, the number of lines would automatically drop to 8 for the primary GPU slot which would limit the flow on the card. The other two M2 slots located below the second PCI slot are Gen 4 type and bound to the chipset. As for the other storage devices, there are also four independent SATA 6G ports. This applies to Ryzen 7000 and 9000 series of CPU, while the Ryzen 80,000 series have many limitations, so please read their detailed instructions, before buying of course, it's a bit confusing. As for the rear IO panel, the configuration has been upgraded a bit thanks to the S-Media controller which now offers true USB 4 speeds compared to the Intel one we had on the X670E board. 
The X870 ProArt Creator has 7 USB-A ports with a flow rate up to 10 gigabits per second, 2 USB 4 ports with rated up to 40 gigabits per second, and USB-C up to 20 gigabits per second, and there is also a USB for BIOS flashback in 2.0 configuration. They also have improved antennas with Q mechanism as well as Marvel 10G and Intel's 2.5G internet port. This board is very good. It has a handful of ports to satisfy creators, incredible speeds for LAN and USB connections, and the hardware itself is capable of receiving the most powerful 9950X CPU with all its consumption. The problem with this board and the boards of the last generation is the price. This board costs as much as the CPU itself, about 500 USD. Apart from the price, I wouldn't complain about this board, everything is in place. What do you think about Creator Board? Write me in the comment section and at the same time, I am at your disposal if you have any questions or concerns. See you soon.